In addition to publishing the images to our local hard drive, we can also publish them directly to social media and photo sharing services. The steps taken to share your photos are more or less the same across all these three platforms, including Adobe Stock, Facebook, and Flickr. There are some minor differences in configuration. We'll conduct a walkthrough of sharing them on Flickr, which is a very popular platform for sharing and showcasing your photographs. To share them on other platforms, you would follow the same steps. To get started, select the Flickr item in the left plane. It's asking me if I want to save the changes that I recently made to the hard drive published connection. I'll go ahead and save them. And then it'll take me to the, uh, the Flickr published service. So on the right side here, we'll need to give this published service a description. This is similar to what we did with the hard drive uh, published service. So I'll call it my Flickr. The next thing we need to do here is authorize Lightroom to post images to our Flickr account. Uh, to do so, we'll need to click the Authorize button, and this is the same for Facebook as well. You'll need to authorize Lightroom to post to your Facebook. So I'll go ahead and click Authorize, and then just click Authorize when this uh, dialog box appears. You'll be prompted to the uh, Yahoo login page, so I'll just go ahead and enter my email, and then I'll enter my password. So we're now automatically directed to the Flickr.com authorization page, and we'll need to click the OK button here to authorize Flickr uh, to communicate with Lightroom. So click OK. And then it's going to ask uh, us to open Adobe Lightroom. Don't let this confuse you if you already have Lightroom open. Just go ahead and click Yes, Open Adobe Lightroom. Once the process is complete, you'll see a message in Lightroom indicating that uh, you've successfully authorized Flickr to communicate with Lightroom. So just click done over here. Now you'll see a message that says authorized and then your uh, first name and your username. Now we'll need to set some preferences uh, for the image titles on Flickr. Each image has a title at the top of the page when you publish your images to Flickr. And the title can be set to a number of things, um, including IPTC title uh, and file name. So I generally just go ahead with uh, the file name unless you've configured your metadata to include something else. Now under the file naming, you have the option to rename your files. Again, this is the exact same when we went over the hard drive publish option. If you want to rename your files, just place a check mark in this checkbox, select the file name format, and you're good to go. I don't want to rename them, so I'm going to remove the check mark. Next is the video panel. We covered that in the hard drive uh, settings as well. So nothing new there. File settings, go ahead and adjust your quality. So keep in mind that you want to keep it within 70 to 80. We don't want to set any file limits. Image sizing, if you want to resize it, you can do it here. And sharpening, you can, you can sharpen your images if you prefer. And again, the metadata is also uh, the same as the hard drive settings we went over earlier. I'll go ahead and uh, make sure that these two are checked. I don't want my location info or my personal info showing up in the metadata. I don't want my watermark applied, so I'm not going to uh, put a check mark there. Next, we have the option of either keeping these uh, in a private section of our Flickr or open to the public so anybody can see them. I'll go ahead and uh, keep them public. That's fine. So once you've configured all your settings, just go ahead and press save to complete the process.